Hi, I'm Lou Mancuso, the Landing Doctor, and I'm here with our flagship plane, the Bristol LSA 141 Turbo 915 with the Rotax 915 engine. This engine mated with this airframe has resulted in a spectacular climbing and fast roomy plane. Let me start up front with the propeller. We have a four bladed Duke prop that was designed specially for this engine. We also have a Sensenich three bladed prop that was designed specially for this engine. And we've done some testing with the German made MT constant speed prop set up with a single lever throttle and hooked up without a prop control and we have that in one of our planes that we're doing some testing on. So how we get the 140 horse is we have a bigger case with a little more oil capacity and in order to keep the cooling down the pistons have oil injecting orbs. So oil is injected into the cylinder with each stroke to make the engine cooler. The turbo, which we can't see down here, is a typical turbo, but turbos create heat. In order to dissipate heat on a million dollar or two million dollar Cessna 421, you would find an oil cooler, which you'd never find on a little plane. This plane has the oversized oil cooler to help the heat, and then you also have an intercooler with this box that forces air in through the intercooler before the air gets fed back into the turbo. So that helps keep it cool. There's a cow flap on the bottom of the cowling, a permanent cow flap that sucks hot air out. And on the top cowling, there's three air scoops that force air in, in and out of the engine and into the intercooler. One of the most important things that helps keep this engine cool it has an electronic control unit by Rotex, the ECU. And that ECU predetermines the fuel flow. So if this engine's getting hot, it sends more fuel flow, where the fuel flow can go up to 10 or 11 gallons an hour to help keep the engine cool. When you throttle back, the ECU will take it down to maybe four and a half gallons of fuel burn, and it'll run very economical. Other thing with this engine that's unique is the gearbox. The gearbox was beefed up and made stronger because of more horsepower. Another thing, the engine mounts used to be up against the firewall. Now they're moved 10 inches forward, big rubber donuts, four of them, to make the engine have less vibration and less susceptible to exhaust system cracks. We have a giant fine filter up here that filters the fuel and under the belly there's another filter down there with the fuel pumps that's a coarse filter to take out and clean uh, to keep the the fuel supply crystal clean. We have a special coolant here which helps dissipate heat that we use in it a different coolant than the other one a 48 coolant and I uh, think I've covered the different components of this engine that make it special and run so cool. I've flown this plane from in Lancaster from 400 feet to 18,000 feet. I did it in 12 minutes, average 1,500 foot a minute climb. And when I got there at 18, I was indicating uh, 17,999. I was indicating 18, 118 knots and had a true airspeed of 160 knots. The plane is certified to 23,000 feet where we're anticipating we'll get true airspeeds of 200 up there. So that's our 915, the Bristol Beast, and uh, thought you would enjoy this knowledge from the landing doctor. Happy flying. I remember developing A20 and thinking, is this as good as it can be? Can I make it better? That drives a desire to truly make innovations and capabilities that people haven't even thought of and really look for something that's new, different, and better. You can't have the mindset that it's impossible to make it better. If you're already at that mindset, you might as well go home.